Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how DICE completely changed this weapon in Battlefield 1. The weapon in question is the SMG 0818, and I understand that other creators have covered this in recent weeks, but I've had so many people telling me I should make a video on it, so sometimes you just gotta give the people what they want. Now, today's footage will feature the factory variant of the SMG 08, and let's travel back in time now to before the alterations were made. What you're seeing on screen is the SMG-08 before its miraculous transformation. It may look exactly the same, but don't be fooled. Beneath that ever so aesthetic exterior is an entirely different beast. This old version of the SMG-08 was essentially at the complete opposite end of the spectrum when compared with the new version. The old one was a slow firing SMG with a stat of 450 rounds per minute. It had a max damage of 23 out to about 11 meters and a minimum damage of, I believe, around 13 or 14 from 43 meters plus. This provided a 5 to 8 bullet kill, so it didn't hit particularly hard in order to compensate for its slower rate of fire. However, I must now add that this footage is taken from the post-TTK patch, which meant that the SMG-08 benefited from increased lethality, much like many other weapons in the game. This patch, plus the major upside of the SMG-08, that being very solid recoil stats, gave it an opportunity to shine as a steady, stable, longer range SMG in a way that most others couldn't. As you can see, I didn't have too many issues picking up kills with it, and this is why I was initially saddened to learn that it had been changed. I felt like we'd lost a slightly unique option for the assault class. However, as we travel back to the present day to look at the current version of the weapon, well my sadness has all but disappeared because the new version is so much fun. It's almost completely different, and I reckon it's also pretty fantastic. It now has a rate of fire of 770 rounds per minute, which is an increase of 320. It now also hits for a max damage of 28 up to 11 meters out, and a minimum of 15 from 37 meters plus. This gives you a 4 to 7 bullet kill, and those bullets are coming out a hell of a lot faster than before. It then also still retains the pretty massive 81 rounds per full reload, and it's also now a hip fire god. Yes, I'm excited about all of this. I've been pretty stunned by just how reliably the SMG-08 can spray people down from the hip and sometimes from pretty crazy range as well. Obviously, there is now more recoil control needed in order to balance out the hugely increased rate of fire, but that won't be a particularly big issue for people who have experienced the Automasco, for example. All in all, it's the biggest change I've seen DICE make to a weapon in Battlefield 1 and arguably the biggest change made to a single weapon I've seen in any first-person shooter that I've played. Played. If you can think of one bigger than this from another game, let me know in the comment section below, I'd be very interested. Now, as I said before, I was somewhat disappointed to lose the old version, just as I felt it was becoming more viable with TTK 2.0 in place. But the new version is so good and so enjoyable that I'm pretty much completely fine with it now, and the community as a whole certainly seems to be enjoying this version a lot more than the old one. And it's really not hard to see why. The SMG-08 now kind of has cross-archetype viability. By that, I mean it has some of the strengths of something like the Hellregal Factory and some of the strengths of something like the Automatico, with those two weapons being two of the most dominant available options pretty much since Battlefield 1 released, well I'm sure you can understand how powerful this can make the SMG-08 in the right hands. If you're no good at controlling recoil or getting up close to the enemy, then it might not be for you, but for the right player, it's a bit of a dream in all honesty, I really think it's that good. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, do you like the SMG-08-18? now, did you like it before, and which variant do you prefer? Now, we need to quickly shoot over to the Board of Awesome show our respects to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. They do so purely because they want to help to keep it going, and I truly appreciate every single one of them. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below, where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos, and feel free to like, favorite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters.